All right, today we're gonna do a gel test with these Federal HST. These are 380. They are 99 grain jacketed hollow points. Gonna use my Ruger LCP Max here, a little micro compact. It's got a 2.75 inch barrel using Knox 10% ballistics gelatin. Calibration today is about 3.1 inches, so we are good to go there. Get set up and get going here in just a moment. Uh, we're going to be firing through the bare block on the first shot, and then for the second shot, as a worst case scenario, we'll be using four layers of denim. We'll get a retained weight and a measurement on expansion if we achieve expansion. And of course, penetration depth. So this is our entry block here. This is from the previous test. Um, so you can see where these came in from the previous test. I just had to pluck that one out and then pluck that one out there. So we'll come in here and here. So we have a pretty clear block. Uh, to see what the initial damage is and if we get any over penetration like I did on this one because it didn't expand through the denim You know, there's our catch block back there. Anyways, we should pretty ha we should have a pretty uninhibited block pass here for these two shots All right, that looks pretty good through the bare block Come on focus. There's our entry That's a pretty good balloon. And penetration is gonna be right at about 12 inches. Of course, I'll get a measurement for you guys, so you can already see this would focus. <laughs> we do have pretty good expansion there. Actually, it peeled down pretty far, so. Man, will we get lucky and will this one uh, perform well through the denim? Let's find out. Hey, it didn't penetrate too far. That means it probably did all right. Yes, it did judging by that wound cavity as well Very nice Obviously, it's not gonna have as much expansion as this That's why it went a little further, but it still performed Awesome, I might put another one in there just to verify that sometimes you get lucky with one bullet um, Yeah, let's Let's do that real quick before I tear these up, pulling these out. Well, you know, actually, this is just a catch block. That one will be fine after there for now. Well, nope. <laughs> I learned my lesson in the past. Knowing my luck, I'll hit it. We'll examine these closer here in a second. Let me go ahead and get them out of the way. Yeah, I tried to expand there. Take one more through the denim, see what happens. Yep, another good catch there. All right. It would seem to indicate that those do all right through denim, even through micro. So the other one was right there. We'll remember that for the measurements here. Looks like this one expanded better, which is why it was an inch shallower. Yeah, it did. Look, you can even see it's got the denim right there. Hey, these are a heck of a 380 load right here. One of the very few I have seen perform through denim and still get FBI minimum penetration there. These are a winner. All right, penetration on the first shot through bare block. Right at 12 inches, like I said, and that's going to be because it expanded the most because it didn't have the denim in its way. So then on the second shot, which was the first one through the denim, we're sitting right here at about 15 and a quarter. In that last shot just now, about 13, three quarters, maybe 14 inches there. There's a close up on those. First shot, second shot, third shot. So obviously clear gel. First one through the denim, second one through the denim. So this one, you know, it didn't perform great, but it was pretty dang good for a 380 because almost no 380 hollow points expand or even try to expand like this one through the four layers of denim and this one at least tried and it still got probably because it was all oblong like that off the one side it was probably like you know kind of yawing and trying to tumble and just wiggling through there so that's why it tore it up so much not to mention these sharp edges definitely help with that um so even though it did not expand uh uniformly look what it would have done to you and then we still got the what was it 
14 inches or penetration or 15 something like that and then the final one there we actually did get um, I mean it didn't expand as far as that but it still expanded and another nice wound channel there and I think I said 13 three quarters something like that so even the one that didn't perform very good which I think is the worst performance you can expect there still did a good job as far as getting the penetration required and still leaving a nasty wound channel there and remember that's through a little LCP max micro so anything with a longer barrel than that it's good you're gonna have even better performance due to the higher velocity so kind of a worst case scenario in both ways here we got four layers of denim worst case scenario a lot of people hate that because it clogs up hollow points but it's a great test separates the elite ammunition from the not elite ammunition and I would say this is elite for 380 and then also we had that real dinky pistol with the real short barrel not helping it out either with the low velocity there and they still performed some of the best performance I've seen in 380 micro there there's another view from the side there I picked the denim out of there so we can weigh these so retained weight first one through the bare block 101.9 102 keep in mind that's you're gonna have added weight because we do have gelatin trapped under the pedals there first one through the denim 99 point <clears throat> oh that's the wind hope you guys can there you go you can see it it's pretty windy out today it's uh 10 15 mile an hour gusts and this is a reloader scale so it's meant to measure little tiny granules of powder so whenever the wind hits it like it just did there it flickers on us um 99.8 so that one doesn't really have you know, a little bit of gel trapped under one of those pedals and then the final shot there 100.89 101 flickering a little because of the wind and that one has some gel trapped under the pedals as well so we got 100 percent weight retention on those all right you know that's just about the largest expansion i've ever seen from a 380 right there let's see what this comes in at 0.632 so 63 caliber there this one trying to find what's the furthest pedal here they're all pretty equal I knew this one was gonna be a pain to measure there we go 0.44 so 44 caliber there and then this one's not too bad either especially if it going through denim 0 0.540, 54 caliber. Bear block. First one through the denim. Last one through the denim. If you guys want to get yourself a caliper micrometer like this, scale, links in the description for that. I also have links for the Knox Ballistics Gelatin I mix up, shooting bag and more, shooting stand, targets, whatnot. Any of the products you see me using in the video, links in the description for those. So that is our results today, which again, phenomenal for a Micro 380. Um, go check out the, uh, I got a 380 gel test playlist in the playlist on the channel if you want to see more 380 gel tests. I got Rimfire as well, 9mm, 40, 45, so go check those out if you want to see more. But I appreciate you stopping by and watching, and I hope to catch you on the next one.